Yeah, like a diet coke. Will you get out of my... Everyone has heard that you're supposed to drink eight cups of water every day, but that doesn't mean you can't also treat yourself to a delicious soda every now and then. But which one should you grab? There are so many options out there. So here are the top 10 soda brands ranked worst to best. Pick me, pick me, pick me. Crush. Sounds delicious. The original incarnation of Crush was as an orange soda in the early 1900s, and that is probably how they are best known even to this day. However, depending on what country you are in and even what part of that country, the number of Crush variations available is almost mind-blowing. Not all these flavors are available everywhere, but just get a load of a few of them. Grapefruit, tropical punch, grape, cream soda, cherry, apple, banana, blue raspberry, lime ricky, lemon, peach, pear. Shout out to all the pear. And we could go on. Crush also does a root beer and a cola, but they are really most well known for all of the fruit soda variations. We have to give them props for all the different fruit flavors, more so than any other brand on this list. However, when it comes to taste, Crush just doesn't crush it. And among the various competitors in the different genre markets, Fanta and orange soda, Barks and root beer, Sunkist and grape soda, etc., Crush is usually the second or third choice. However, if you are looking for a soda flavor that you've never had before, Crush is your best bet to provide you with that unique fizzy experience. How does red licorice sound? Or pineapple? Or sarsi? Or peach sour? And that still isn't all of them. And if you get thirsty, I got a secret stash of orange crush behind the fridge. 7-Up. Sounds familiar. Where did 7-Up go? Years ago, you couldn't watch 30 minutes of television without seeing multiple ads for this clear, fizzy delight. But these days, the Uncola feels like it has disappeared from public consciousness. Sure, it's still on store shelves, but it definitely doesn't have the same place in pop culture that it once did. However, while it might have been forgotten by some soda drinkers out there, it is without question one worth putting back in your fizzy rotation. 7-Up has actually been around since 1929, when it was invented by Charles Laper Grigg for his company, the Howdy Corporation, and launched out into the world just months before the stock market crash that was the beginning of the Great Depression. May I just have some Coke, please? The original name for the soda was Bib Label Lithiated Lemon Lime Soda. It was later shortened to 7-Up Lithiated Lemon Soda, and in 1936, it was shortened again to 7-Up. Another fun fact about this yummy clear soda is that up until 1948, 7-Up contained lithium citrate, which is a mood-stabilizing drug. There are multiple versions of the soda sold around the world, so depending on where you are located, you can find such variations as 7-Up Lime, Lime, Cherry 7-Up, 7-Up Mojito Flavor, and Orange 7-Up, to name but a few. I want raspberry. Mountain Dew. Chip, I'm all jacked up on Mountain Dew. Regardless of what the commercials seem to tell us, you don't actually have to be into extreme sports to drink Mountain Dew. Maybe it tastes better after pulling off a 360 flip on a motorbike or nailing a backside quad cork 1080 on your snowboard, but you don't have to be extreme in order to do the do. Mountain Dew is one of the most opinion-splitting sodas out there. Unlike many other sodas that all fall into somewhat the same taste profile, Mountain Dew is definitely distinctive in its taste and is generally one that people really really like or really don't like. You will find few people in the middle when it comes to the dew. Here's Mountain Dew Zero. I am thirsty. And while there are a few different flavor versions of the soda today, from the 1940s to well into the 1980s, there was only one, the original classic citrus flavor dew. In fact, it wasn't even until 1988 that they introduced the diet dew. And if you're looking to get a solid caffeine hit, Mountain Dew should be near the top of your soda list. With 55 milligrams of caffeine, the American version has more than the Canadian one. It comes in just behind Pepsi One with 57.1 milligrams in the caffeine soda wars. Mountain Dew Baja Blast, a Taco Bell original, is now in bottles and cans. Sprite and thrown a Sprite into your face. Unlike 7-Up, which seemed to have stayed away from mega ad campaigns and such, the other clear soda, Sprite, made a huge push over the last decade or so to be seen as cool, 
sporty, and hip. They signed LeBron James to their commercials and introduced their Obey Your Thirst slogan. And for multiple years, the NBA Slam Dunk Contest was the Sprite Slam Dunk Contest. Like Fanta, Sprite began its life in Germany. In 1961, the Coca-Cola company brought it to America as Sprite to compete directly with 7-Up. And as with Coke and Pepsi, people often have pretty strong feelings about which they prefer, Sprite or 7-Up. Now, while Sprite definitely isn't a healthy drink, there is a nice amount of sugar in there. Diabetes, everyone. It does offer zero caffeine, which is nice for those looking to be refreshed without the crazy caffeine hit that many other sodas throw at you. Like pretty much every other soda out there, Sprite has also come out with a multitude of flavor variations over the years, including cherry, tropical, and cranberry. But maybe the most surprising one would be Sprite Cucumber. Yep, that's Sprite with a splash of cucumber flavor. We are very curious about that one, but unfortunately, this particular version was only in introduced in Russia in 2017 and Romania in 2018. I don't drink whatever you just said. Fanta. I gotta get one of those. If it hadn't been for World War II, the world might never have had Fanta soda. You see, back during World War II, Germany was cut off from the United States via an American trade embargo against Nazi Germany. Well, this meant that Coca-Cola Germany couldn't get the special syrup and all the ingredients necessary to continue producing Coke. That is when the head of Coca-Cola Deutschland, Max Keith, had the brilliant idea of creating a new soda using only ingredients that could be easily obtained in Germany. The result was Fanta, which has gone on to become an incredibly popular soda in Europe and among those in the know in North America. In fact, Brazil is actually the largest consumer by volume of Fanta in the world. We are number one! And while the initial Fanta soda was an ode to Coke, maybe their most popular flavor, or at least one of the top ones, has to be Orange Fanta. It is also definitely the best orange soda of all the big brand versions out there. Although North Americans should know that there is a big difference between Orange Fanta in Canada and the United States. In Canada, Orange Fanta contains actual orange orange juice, while the American version contains none. Whoa! Barks Root Beer I want British beer! When it comes to root beer, there are actually a number of quality competitors out there, including A&W, who based a whole chain of fast food joints around their yummy root beer soda. Mug root beer is pretty good as well. But for our money, Barks is the top choice when it comes to big brands doing root beer. Maybe it's the rare inclusion of caffeine in this root beer that has us and so many others hooked. Barks is at or near the top of many consumer surveys when it comes to root beer. It's the best. Barks has been around for over 100 years. Originally, the company's most popular product was an orange-flavored soda called Orangine. But it wasn't until the mid-1990s that they really entered the public consciousness with their Barks Has Bite ad campaign. Unlike most root beers, Barks Root Beer does have caffeine. But that isn't the case for the company's product sold in the state of Utah. Often, the Barks sold in Utah is caffeine-free because of Utah's large Mormon population, who tend to avoid caffeinated beverages. Caffeine or not, Barks still has bite, even today. You, you fit me. Pepsi. Uh, Pepsi okay? What can we say about Pepsi that hasn't already been said? The number two soda drink in the world, Pepsi was originally called Brad's Drink when it was developed in 1893. It became Pepsi Cola in 1898, and in 1961, it became known simply as Pepsi. The hardest part of this list has to be the positioning of Pepsi and Coke. Not where they are on the list, but more so where they are on the list in relation to each other. There are few choices that people feel as strongly about as Pepsi or Coke. While there are many of us who are happy to take whatever is available, there are those of us who swear by Pepsi and others who are Coke or nothing people. One thing we can all agree on is that they don't taste the same. Is Pepsi okay? Is Pepsi okay? Ow! Oh! Some might see them as interchangeable, but anyone doing an honest taste test would for sure taste the difference. And if you remember the famous taste tests from the 1970s that started the cola wars, more people, according to Pepsi, preferred the taste of Pepsi over Coca-Cola. True or not, the blind taste test campaign helped jumpstart a rise in Pepsi sales, so much so that Coke felt the need to go as far as to change their formula to keep up. And we all know how well that went, right? Called it the blunder of the century. 
A little overblown, don't you think? What about new Coke? Coke. Coke and Pepsi are the same thing! Wake up, people! Although Pepsi has been its rival for decades and is even more popular than Coke in certain areas and countries, there is no denying that Coke is the soda king and the most popular soda in the world. Originally, the soda was marketed as a patient medicine, claiming it as a cure for many diseases, including morphine addiction, indigestion, nerve disorders, headaches, and impotence. And yes, it is also true that the initial formula for the soda did have cocaine in it. However, the amount of coca leaf extract that was actually in it is unknown, and by 1929, it was no longer part of the formula for Coca-Cola. My life has been a lie! Speaking of formula changes, the biggest one for the soda came in 1985. Feeling the pressure from the Cola Wars and Pepsi promoting their blind taste test that they said showed more people preferred the taste of Pepsi over Coke, Coca-Cola introduced what would become known as New Coke. There was a huge marketing and ad campaign to introduce and promote it, and it was a huge failure. So much so that it wasn't long before the company backtracked completely and went back to the original formula, reintroducing it to the world as Coca-Cola Classic. Today, it is but a blip in the radar as Coke continues to be the world's top-selling and most loved soda. I love you. Canada Dry Ginger Ale What's wrong with ginger ale? It's good for blood loss, do you know that? For many people, their first introduction to ginger ale is when they are kids and they have an upset stomach. For most moms, the go-to cure for a tummy ache is a glass of ginger ale. And while that is often how the drink first enters our lives, it stays with us as we grow up because it is just really delicious and fizzy and has a more sophisticated flavor profile than many of the other sugar-filled sodas out there. And while there are lots of ginger ale options, amongst all that competition, there really is no competition. Beyond a shadow of a doubt, Canada Dry Ginger Ale is at the top of the hill looking down at Schweppes, Seagram's, and any other brand you can think of. As you might have guessed, Canada Dry Ginger Ale was created in Canada. The inventor, chemist John J. McLaughlin, came up with the formula in 1904 and called it Canada Dry Pale Ginger Ale. He labeled it dry as in a dry wine because it was far less sweet than other ginger ales. I am not sweet. For decades, Canada Dry used the tag made with real ginger on their cans, but that came to an end in the United States after a false advertising lawsuit found that there was wasn't enough ginger in the soda to make such a claim. The company settled out of court. Following that case, a similar suit was filed in Canada. But in Canada, the cans still have the Made With Real Ginger tagline on them, which leads us to assume that the case has not yet been adjudicated. But regardless of how much real ginger is in it, Canada Dry Ginger Ale is a great refreshing soda. <sighs> refreshing. Dr. Pepper. I would call Dr. Pepper. Just what the doctor ordered. While some people might confuse Coke with Pepsi and vice versa, Dr. Pepper is the delicious dark sort of cola that stands out from the crown with its delicious and distinct flavor. While it may not be as popular as far as sales go as Coca-Cola and Pepsi, Dr. Pepper might have the most passionate and loyal fans of any soft drink out there. And it may not be available in as many restaurants and eateries, but we all know that if you see it on the menu or at the fountain, Dr. Pepper is going to be what fills your cup. Unless it's a self-serve fountain and you like to do the mix thing, where you put in a bit of every soda in your cup. 2020 marks the 135th anniversary of the creation of the soda, and one of the most amazing things about it is that up until the 2000s, the only variation they had released was a diet version. Okay, sounds healthy. In 2002, they released Dr. Pepper Red Fusion, which marked the first new flavor added to the brand in the entire 122-year history of the company up to that point. It didn't last very long, but they have introduced many other variations since. But the original Dr. Pepper is what everyone knows and loves, and why they find themselves so high on the list. And we win! Sip on another great video and tap that screen here for the first time, then hit that subscribe button and ring that bell to join our notification squad.